After England defeated the French at the Battle of Brimule, Normandy was back in King Henry's hands. But one year later, his good fortune turned to tragedy. In 1120, his son and heir, William Adeline, died in a shipwreck. The future of Henry I's kingdom was in jeopardy. Henry desperately needed a new heir. With no legitimate sons left alive, he broke with tradition and chose his daughter, Matilda. Henry forced his barons to swear an oath to accept Matilda as queen. But when the king died, they broke their promise. England would not be ruled by a woman. Matilda's cousin Stephen saw his chance and claimed the throne. The crisis moved to the capital. At Westminster Abbey, Stephen was crowned king. But Matilda wanted what was hers. She was also lining up powerful supporters who would fight Stephen for her right to rule. Their conflict engulfed England in civil war. Fighting raged throughout the land. In 1141, everything focused on one of the kingdom's most strategic cities, Lincoln. Matilda's allies had commandeered the castle. But King Stephen was determined to take it back. He besieged the castle. Stalemate. As dawn broke on February the 2nd, everything was about to change. Matilda's half-brother, Robert of Gloucester, raced to break the siege. As Robert's forces approached Lincoln, Stephen's army turned away from the castle to face them. Robert could win Matilda the crown, but only if his army could win the day. Robert of Gloucester's forces approached Lincoln. Their task, to liberate the castle from King Stephen's siege. While behind Lincoln's walls, troops loyal to Matilda held the castle for the Empress. First, Robert's forces would stage an ambush to prevent enemy reinforcements from joining with King Stephen's army. Robert's men concealed themselves in a sheltered grove and lay in wait for the enemy. Yeah, 
Robert defeated the first column of Stephen's reinforcements, but he knew more were on the way. With more of Stephen's reinforcements eliminated, Robert was steadily undermining the siege. Tema away to Faren. It's for the finesse. Send a meta me now, yer away for it obey thine hess. Send a meta me now, Ekes. Do end every duty. What will thou? It obey thine hess. What be after this thing? Vendors, he's in an ear Robert's men decimated King Stephen's reinforcements and were poised to break the siege. Continuing the push towards Lincoln, Robert sent in a large company of reinforcements to aid his vanguard. To further weaken the siege, Robert would need to cut off Stephen's supplies. He targeted the nearby market town. group of knights arrived at Lincoln to bolster Robert's army. No, 
With the market town in ruins, King Stephen's supplies began to dwindle. Robert received word that Welsh troops under Matilda's banner were en route to join forces with him. But King Stephen had the roads to Lincoln heavily guarded, and the route was not without risk, even for the hardy Welshmen. Making their way to Lincoln, Matilda's Welsh allies were ambushed by the King's soldiers. Robert's men would need to aid the Welsh if they wanted their help in breaking the siege. Joining forces on the road to Lincoln, Matilda's allied troops made for the castle to lift the siege. Look, you'll be at the ready, Frekis. Yet at the ready for Hestus. Fourth one day, Frekis. Mid Baldenes. Look, you'll be at the ready, Frekis. Yet at the ready for Hestus. And then to serve Robert's forces spotted a large detachment of Stephen's soldiers guarding the castle gates. If they hoped to liberate Lincoln, they would need to break the blockade and rout the army. Robert's forces scattered the king's army, leaving the gates to the castle unguarded. Robert's men finally united with Lincoln's garrison. They could now use the castle to strengthen their army. To lift the siege, they needed to destroy the enemy camps surrounding the castle. It is Sita for Actus. He shall lay the yard. Duty is not 
Yet to be ready for his speech. Liber to hear it. Dress at the hour, way, man. Be ready, Frankis. Every charge. Quar, it is Sita for Actus. Mid Baldeness. Who to readeth new, Tulkas? He shall lay the yard. Admina Worda, Ferreth. to work at.
We'll do that for thee. We'll then do that right to know. Hestes cometh our way then. Hasteriath, wrath they are, freckish hawk, glidden. Silly building thing. to work he can have it that he see they to work well, then they that right to know what they this be on dot he can have it that he build the what will send them out to me now what kiss Emmeth low, crossbowers. Shoulder at crossbows. Ferret. And a fresh mask on the low. Ferita, what day this worker? You can build it up for that. Eagle have us as you build them at all. Sí. 
A great as for Hestas. Men of armors, a beater. A grace at yourself. And ten death no. Send the man to the man of arms. Man of arms is a great for for each fourth death in this. For Hestet, we aren't going to Tulkis. Matilda's forces struck hard, destroying one of King Stephen's siege camps. King Stephen was spotted, shielded by his men. To end the siege, Matilda's forces needed to capture Stephen and rout his army.
Matilda's men closed in and finally captured King Stephen. King Stephen's army dwindled as Matilda's forces struck down another siege camp.
army was scattered, and those who didn't fall fled. Matilda's forces had won the battle at Lincoln, but the fight for the crown was not over yet. <laughs> 